606, more than $9 million in state funding. That is what's going to support nursing students and their faculty at the University of Arizona. This all has to do with whoever wants to join an accelerated career program. On one hand, it will offer incentives for future professionals and the other giving them the preparation they need to start working. Our Brooke Chow joining us this morning. Brooke, you're sharing why the school, a lot of the faculty, the students think a program like this has a much more vital use now given how things are looking for a lot of communities. Yeah, well, the timing definitely makes sense to try something to solve this problem. So Arizona is in the top five states with shortages of workers in hospitals and fewer nurses being that biggest challenge. So this free program is all about keeping those registered nurses right here in Arizona, but at a faster pace. Now, this tailor-made curriculum is called the Mass master's entry to the profession of nursing, also known as MEPIN. This will be for students who have already gotten their bachelor's degree, those prerequisites, and want to become a nurse. The only catch is the students must sign a contract to work in Arizona as an RN for four years after they graduate. Now, this program hopes to provide easier access to health care providers while also combating the increasing amount of nursing shortages. There will be nursing care available um, so that we don't have to close beds in the hospital so that we don't have five and six hour waits in the emergency department because we have more nurses available to care for our patient population. The Arizona Department of Health Services provided the grant for scholarships to be used for students to complete entry level nursing degrees in 12 to 18 months. And that's the whole point of the accelerated program. Now, the College of Nursing has been preparing to increase enrollments due to the current shortage of nurses and also to meet the needs of Arizona residents. Now, this program will help train new Wildcat nurses who are desperately needed to fill that anticipated nursing shortage of almost 1 million nurses by year 2030. For now, in the studio, I'm Brooke Chow. Kagan 9 on your side.